Hey gang, Fletcher here with DJ Event Planner. In this video, I will show you how to send an edited contract or document template to a client for an electronic signature. At times, you may want or need to edit a document or contract prior to sending. For example, you may have a client who requests a contract term be reworded or removed entirely, or you may have another reason. Please note though, in most cases, you should not be editing the contract directly, but instead editing the information within the event so the contract populates correctly. The only time a contract should be edited prior to sending is if there needs to be a change made to the content of the template that is not merge tag enabled. If you are frequently editing your contracts prior to sending, I would suggest reevaluating the process that you follow when adding an event. No matter the reason though, this video will walk you through how to save an edited document to an event and send for an electronic signature. To begin, let's navigate to an event that we want to send a contract for. For this example, let's pretend this client has requested that a specific term be removed from the contract. To do that, we will click on the Documents tab while viewing the event, then in the drop-down we will select our contract document template. This will open in a new window where we can edit it as needed. Because this client wants this term removed, we are going to strike it out and add a note. Once finished with those changes, we'll click Save. The edited document is now saved to the event and can be viewed under the Documents tab and edited further prior to sending if needed. To send this document to be electronically signed, click on the Email tab and in the drop-down select your contract email template or compose a new one by selecting blank. To insert the link to the saved document, click on the e-signature button. In the drop-down, the saved document will be the first one that appears. Select it and then copy and paste the link that is provided into the body of the email where you want it to appear. When the client views their contract, they will be provided with that edited, saved document. One thing to note, that if you use a contract expiration date based upon the contract sent date, you will not be able to select it in the dropdown. It will be grayed out, as you can see here, and it will tell you why it cannot be selected. To fix, simply edit the event and add a contract sent date under the Booking Details tab. Thanks for watching. Should you have any questions, contact us via live chat or the support form found in the support options in the left menu. Thanks for watching. Happy planning.